Welcome to another tutorial by Video Excel. In this tutorial, we will be exploring tabs in Excel 2016. Now, in this tutorial, we will be exploring the tabs on the top and not at the bottom, because at the bottom, these tabs are your sheets. Um, if you want to add a sheet to your workbook, you can go ahead and do that by just clicking on the plus icon, and it will just add a sheet to your workbook. But if you want to add a new workbook, you will just click the icon on the top that says new. Now what this does is that it opens up a new Excel workbook for you. You can open up as many Excel workbooks as you like. If you haven't made any changes to it, you can go ahead and double click on the workbook and it will close it. Now if you're new to Excel 2016 and you don't like the tabbed interface, what you can do is you can simply click on Control Q and that will hide the tab toolbar. You can hit Control Q again to bring it back. Now this does change the outlook of Excel a little bit, but I have found that these tabs are really helpful. Well, first, if you want to go ahead and create a new tab well, or a new workbook, just like I explained before, you can go ahead and click on new and open as many workbooks as you like. You can go ahead and change the color of these tabs. What's also nice about these tabs is that if you want to start a document in a new window, all you have to do is just click on, uh, right click on the tab and click on new in new window. What that's gonna do is open up a new instance of Excel and it'll be a separate window and you can just kind of work from here. One other option that I'd like to show you is that um, let's just say if you are working in a tab to view. So I'm just gonna pull in a document from my, um, uh, from my folder and uh, let's just say if you have two workbooks and at a later point you decide that you wanna open up this workbook in a new window, you can right click and just say open in new window. It will move that workbook from the old window uh, and, uh, and again open up a new instance of Excel. So let's go ahead and close this one now. Right click. You can also customize these tabs to your liking. You can right click and click on tabs for Excel options or you could just right click on the tab and then go to the tabs for Excel. There are many options that you can change here. Um, there are some shortcuts here that you can customize. The control queue is the one that we just looked at to show and display the tab bar. Also customize the position of the tab bar. Instead of having to show it at the top, you can say that, hey, I wanna show it on the left or I wanna have it uh, shown at the bottom of the uh, workspace. These are your preferences and you can change them as you like. You can also go to the style and color option and there are six different styles for you to choose from. Um, you can click on any of these styles and it will show you what the tab is going to look like. You can also customize the colors of the tabs according to your liking. But for now, I'm going to hit cancel and close this window. So that's pretty much it for tabs in Excel 2016. And I really do hope that you do get used to this uh, tabbed ribbon because it's been really helpful for me, especially because I work with multiple documents. And not every document needs to be opened up in a new instance of Excel. Do share your preference in the comment section below and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.